the day talking with Keselowski right now. We heard uh, Keselowski's crew chief say the nine jacked us up, and that's what this conversation's about. And obviously apologize, there's a heated discussion going on here between two drivers. Again, Keselowski and Hornaday discussing the restarts. Both of them not happy and emotions running high. This, uh, I don't think this is the problem. On the restart, uh, Ron got into the back of Brett Keselowski, and I think that's, that's what Brad's upset about. That was just a little bump. That actually helped there, but when you try to take off with these trucks, getting all that horsepower to the ground feels hard enough without somebody else on your back end. Hermes right there. Let's have him talk with Brad. Hey, Brad. Brad Keselowski comes on second. First of all, tell us, had the car capable of winning, tell us about the last restart, first of all. Oh, sure. We had a great Cooper Standard Dodge uh, Ram, uh, or Ram, I should say. Uh, really proud of everybody at BKR. This was a truck to beat tonight, and uh, they worked their butt off to, uh, to make it happen. So first off, I want to say that, but... Uh, you know, it just all came down to the restarts and who was willing to work together. And, um, you know, the last two restarts, nobody worked with me. Uh, they did everything they could to wreck me. So I was real frustrated about that. But that's racing, and uh, we'll move on. And talking about Ron Hornaday came over to have a conversation with you guys. Can you tell us what that was about? Oh, I just told him I take care of him all the time in these races, and uh, I respect him, and he shows me none at all. So I'm just going to have to stop respecting him. That's just the way it's going to have to be. So uh, I hate to do that because, you know, he's a regular, but um, – you know, I've respected him now since the beginning of my truck career, and now I'm fortunate to be where I'm at, and he um, doesn't show up back, so I feel like I don't have to either. I just want to make sure he knew that next time we're racing each other. Again, there was some upset folks, and we think this might be one of the reasons why. Yeah, that bump right there that Hornaday put to the back of Fred Kozlowski had him sideways and really upset after the race. Uh, that was the the disrespecting that Brad spoke of, Ron running in the back of him there. And that gave the lead to Justin Lofton, the lead he never relinquished yep. the, West, the rest of the way. And again, we've heard from Keselowski. Now let's hear the other side of the story. Hermie caught up with Hornaday. Uh, Jeff and the guys worked hard. I mean, we, we didn't have the best truck when we got here. They, they worked on it, and uh, we got the thing to roll the corner pretty good. So uh, I, I guess Brad's mad at me. I, I run the back of him on a restart, but uh, they stopped and played Jackrabbit, and somebody got the back of me, and I just had to go too, so... Sorry about that to him, but, you know, we're all looking for spots. But uh, it's pretty cool for Joe to that Motorsports get a top five. And, and uh, we, we got a new truck for uh, Texas coming up, and I can't wait. 